Come on, lift it up to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So what gives us the dew of your youth? Doing the will of the Father. Doing the will of the Father. Now, I haven't even got onto the material I prepared for this lesson. <laughs> but I'll say this. You need to battle with peace, okay? So whatever is distracting you to get into that place, you have to push through to that place of peace. Amen? The Prince of Peace gives his peace. Amen? And if you're doing any sort of public ministry, the biggest preparation is what happens to you the week before. The shops, the angers, the misinterpretation, the relationship strains, that is the stuff that is eating in, okay? We have to push through, saints, in to find the Prince of Peace. Often prayer, 60, 70% of prayer can just be pushing through to find that peace, amen? Because once we've got that peace, we're hearing clearly from Him. His presence is there with you. So whatever turmoil is around you, whatever anxiety is around you, whatever personal conflict is within your heart, press through to find the, that peace. Amen? I find too many Christians that are just, uh, just uh, sprayed everywhere in their emotions and their thought life because they have not centred on the Prince of Peace. Amen? And there's the word for you. Read your Bible. Stay with one word, centre on that word, chew on that word like a cow chews a cud. Bring it up, regurgitate it, stay with it, sing it, pray it, meditate on it, put your eyes on it, not on your problems. Hear that? Put your eyes on that because that will bring you into the presence of the Prince of Peace. Amen? Amen. This is 101 discipleship. So know his peace. And the other thing I'll mention briefly is purity. Purity. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall, they shall see God. We follow a triune God. And the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. Holiness is his key mark. God brings us into that relationship, into that, that throne room, but it's in the presence of the King of this universe, in holiness. Amen. And God wants us in all purity, not to have an, even have a hint of evil in our lives. We're in a culture where that doesn't matter anymore. It's called relativism, okay? You can live together, just not in the same room. Well, the world doesn't see it like that, I'm sorry. We have to be in purity, saints, amen? If we are going to grow, if we're going to hear, if we're going to move on, we have to be walking in that purity, this is what the early church walked in with great power. Do you know the pagan Romans, they threw Christians to, into, the, um, into the arenas, but they had a joy in their hearts because they were not mixed in that culture of that day. They'd pulled away from the debauchery and they were happy to lay their lives down such that they were in purity with the king, such that if their lives died at any moment, they'd fly to be with Jesus. Amen. We need to be in the same place because he can return at any moment in this time in history. We're in a different season and we have to have our eyes on eternity. Amen? Amen. In purity. 